Hello Capricorn, I hope you all are doing well. Um, this is going to be your general reading for September 26th through the 30th. We're going to go ahead and get started here and see what we get for you. <clears throat> What's going on with Capricorn, September 26th through the 30th? You have three majors here, Capricorn. You have the devil, you have justice, you have the hair font. Um, so we have your energy here. We have Libra, we have Taurus. Someone here might have Mars and Gemini. We actually have double Taurus because you start off with the King of Pentacles, a mentor, okay? Now, I do think there could be somebody significant coming into your life, possibly lending you um, advice regarding your finances, regarding your business. I feel that this could be a meetup. We're going to clarify. This could also be somebody who you're going to have a solid connection with, who you could be meeting up with um, before September's over. What's going on with the King of Pentacles for Capricorn? What's going on with the King of Pentacles for Capricorn? We have the hair font. And it's funny because you end it with the hair font as well. Um, you know, there's this inner knowing that you could do this. I feel like there is this sense of accomplishment. You know, there's something here that I feel you're accomplishing before the month of September is open. open before it's over. Um, and I feel like you're very uh, proud of yourself for this here. Two of Cups. Yeah, I think this could be a business deal, an interview, something of that nature. Um, what else do we have going on here? Some of you, if you own a business, you could finally be um, like booking clients or maybe you have a lot of uh, bookings here. Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, it's definitely uh, work related here is how this feels to me. Now with that Two of Cups hair font, like I said, like I said, you could be establishing a new connection with somebody where things are going to be uh, more long term. With the hair font showing up, that could be somebody that you later marry, uh, or maybe you, you know, end up living with them or having a family with them, whatever, you know, whatever the case may be, whatever works for you. Um, but I truly feel like this is, uh, you know, somebody coming in regarding work or business uh, that's really going to elevate you. You have the devil boundaries, okay? So let's see. What's going on with the devil here for Capricorn? Five of Wands. I feel like you're struggling to keep boundaries in place for some of you here. Five of Swords. Yeah, I feel like you're overthinking something. You're thinking too much. Like there's something here you can't get out of your head. What's going on with that? King of Swords. It might be an Aquarius. It doesn't have to be. It doesn't have to be. But I think you guys could be trying to find clarity about something. Try to find clarity about a situation that was bad for you. Um, you have the two fives here. I feel like this was something that was meant to end, okay, and it was meant to change you. So I don't think that there is like this pre-traumatized version of you to get back to. For a lot of you, I feel like, um, you know, this is a cycle that has repeated your whole life. You know, for example, maybe um, this is maybe you have like a really toxic parent, right? Um, I imagine you grew up with that parent your whole life, <laughs> or you grew up dealing with them on some level, or uh, you know, dealing with the the trauma they brought to you. And then you go on to deal with people just like them. And I feel like this is where that cycle is ending for you, okay? I feel like you have been in a cycle your whole life here, and it's about to be over, finally. Um, so I think that you're a little bit in your head. You could be feeling weird because you're just not used to, um, you know, living without a certain type of energy. But that energy is toxic. You have the devil right here. It's just something you got used to. But I feel like you're finally clear about that, and you're letting go of that. Next, you have the Nine of Swords, Mental Conflict. Nine of Swords. What's going on with this Nine of Swords here? Some of you, you could be, um, they're, I feel like you're anxious about something at night. Uh, you have the Six of Cups, or you're thinking a lot about your past at night, a lot about this Scorpio or this Earth sign here. Um, some of you, you've got finances on the brain here. I think that there's a lot that you could be worried about with your money. I think things are going to be fine here, Capricorn. You may not be able to see that. Uh, in the month of September, in the remainder of September, but they are going to be fine. You have the nine and the ace of pentacles, which equals the ten. We're moving into the tenth month here. I think in the month of October, your finances could improve drastically. Um, but that nine of swords showing up, I feel like you're, you know, you have a lot of energy here that would suggest to me that you're very much 
um, you know, caught up in your own thoughts. And I feel like you are just allowing those to go around and around and around. And it creates that snowball, you know. So I feel like that's something that's happening here. But for a lot of you, I do think your your mind is on the past here. I think you want something new, but your mind keeps going back to the past, especially at night, okay. Especially at night or as you're waking up here, okay. But there is something better. Ace of Pentacles and the Nine of Pentacles. There is absolutely something better. So please keep that in mind. This pain is temporary, okay. You have Justice which is a card of balance. Someone here could have Venus in Virgo. What's going on here with Justice for Capricorn? The King of Wands, the Moon, and the Four of Pentacles. Okay. I feel like for a lot of you, you're putting a plan into action, but you're going to be doing that quietly in the rest of September, or you're realizing that you need to be more quiet about something, like you need to um, not, like there's something here that you're not expressing is how this feels. Uh, because justice is showing up, I feel like it simply doesn't feel right to you to divulge certain pieces of information to certain people. I've got Pisces energy here, as well as Cancer, as well as Leo, as well as you Capricorn you could of course be dealing with another Capricorn but I think there's something that you're wanting to go towards here one second yeah there's something that you're wanting to go towards with the king of wands energy it's like you have this vision and I think you're wanting to act on that vision you're wanting to actually bring it to life but the moon card is showing up and I also feel like your intuition is telling you not to express this to someone who's around you um so I think for a lot of you, there's this energy of moving in silence. You have the Four of Pentacles right here, and it's to protect yourself. Whether this is to protect your emotions, um, whether this is to protect um, your confidence, I feel like that's why you're moving in silence here. Um, for some of you, like you could live with this person, live around them. So they're really, really deep in your energy. So I think that you're just being very cautious of what you communicate to them at this time. Um, but yeah, I think you're just in a space where it doesn't feel right to speak on something yet. And that's totally fine. Um, let me see what else is happening with this Justice card. Some of you, you're not seeing it in the remainder of September, but there will be a legal victory. Yeah, you got the Four of Swords here. Page of Cups. Some of you, you're not speaking on something because you're afraid that you're not going to get support. You have the Four of Swords right here. So I feel like you're holding something very tightly to your chest here. Um, you have the Page of Cups and the King of Pentacles, though. I feel like it might surprise you, the reactions of certain people. Now, I think there will be people who are not going to support you uh, with whatever journey this is, whatever path this is that you're going down, but it doesn't really matter, you know? It doesn't really matter. I think that there's a water sign or a Taurus here specifically. Like, somebody is shocking you, the level of support that you are receiving from them. Some of you, this is a partner, okay? Um, and I don't mean romantic partner. I feel like this could be, like, somebody who's partnering with you in business or somebody who is making an investment. They're supporting your business or like they're involving themselves in some way they're involving themselves and I feel like that could really shock you okay so while you know I feel like you're, you're right about you know somebody here not supporting you uh, I feel like there are others here who definitely would and they would definitely contribute uh, to this path so decide what you want to do with that information next you have the hair font knowledge what's going on with the hair font for Capricorn What's going on with the hair font for Capricorn? The High Priestess, exactly. <laughs> uh, we were just talking about your intuition, um, you know, sending you messages basically about what you should say, what you shouldn't say, about what moves you're making, um, who you should say these things to. Yeah, because the Four of Cups is showing up. Obviously, there's someone who just does not, you know, does not support or does not care. Someone could have their moon in Cancer, okay? Or this could be a Pisces, maybe somebody who has Saturn in Pisces. But there's somebody who's just very disappointed with the success that you're receiving um, or with the success that you are seeking, okay? Because it's different for all of you. Some of you, you're already receiving this, okay? You're seeing the results now, and that's what's getting to a person. For others of you, it's like they know that you can achieve those results, and that's what's getting to them. So the High Priest is showing up. I do feel like there could be somebody here where you're just having to turn your back on them. 
because I feel like you're at a point, you know, with the hair font showing up, um, it's a card of knowledge here in this deck, which is a card of knowledge anyway, it just has other meanings as well. Wow, this could be somebody who you were really close with. This could be a Gemini, you've got the lovers here. This could be a sibling, a little bit of sibling rivalry here, Capricorn. Like there's somebody who just does not want you uh, to have success with something here. You have justice in reverse, they feel like it's not fair. They feel like it's not fair, wow. But I feel like there's a lot more success coming to you here. You have the Magician, you have the Page of Swords. Of course, that's for those of you who have, you know, the Page of Swords, real like studious energy. I feel like this is for those of you who have taken the time out to learn. Uh, you know, you have had the courage to start new things, to move towards new things with the uh, Page of Swords and the Fool, okay? I feel like this is leading you to greater rewards than you even expected with the Magician showing up. This is someone who's very skilled, okay? I feel like you're actually kind of shocking yourself it's like you knew that you would find this success but you didn't know you would find this much of it so it's very interesting but I do think there are certain people that have to go as you you know move along this path here um, because they're only going to serve as obstacles if, if that's not the case okay I do feel that for some of you, you could be receiving a call. Like if you have put in uh, applications in places or if you have um, if you're like a student or if you're trying to become a student, I feel like you're going to be receiving some kind of phone call here to get things in order. Now, I do think there could be something that's tying you up when it comes to that. You have the devil here. So this could be like something to do with your background. If it's a job, if it's not a job, this could be something to do with your finances or um, your like, yeah, it's your status financially. It could have to do with like financial assistance in school. Um, I do think that you're going to find a way around that. Okay, don't give up, um, you know, on finding a way around that. I feel like this is just something, there, just a couple extra hoops to jump through. I know it's frustrating, but that is, you know, that is something I'm seeing here for uh, someone. But overall, it does look like there is someone really important here who's coming in to help you or who's coming in to speak with you or who's coming in to connect with you. This is going to be someone who either contributes to your business, they help you get your foot in the door in a big way. Um, so this could even be a person who's like cutting you a break financially or who is like helping you to get something here. Um, for others of you, that would definitely be a connection that's going to go all the way, okay? <clears throat> Goodness gracious. So, yes, but I do like it overall, Capricorn, simply because the message is that you're going for success. You know, you don't care who around you is not uh, in agreement with it. You're going to go for it regardless. And when you do that, I feel like, yeah, you get the success, but you get way more than you had imagined getting. So I do like that for you. Um, I hope you watch out for your other signs. I also read on TikTok and Instagram and Patreon, and I do have a second channel. If you all are interested, everything is down below. But if this is where we part, thank you for watching. I really appreciate you and I hope I'll see you next time. Bye.